Hi, I'm Jeff Pettigrew, and welcome back to the AROC Innovation Series. You know, the most important thing that we try to achieve in our program is better medical outcomes. And today we have a special guest, Dr. Melissa Tan with the OCMD Group. Welcome, Dr. Tan. Good afternoon. Glad to be here. So, Dr. Tan, tell us about yourself. I'm a board-certified occupational medicine physician. I've been in practice here in Texas for about 30 years. I uh, started OCMD in 2000. We have grown to 19 nurses, mm. manage a number of large injury benefit programs here in Texas, uh, have done workers' compensation as well as injury benefit plan management. I understand you've had quite a leadership role in the field. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I've been on the American College of Occupational Medicine um, Environmental Medicine Board of Directors. I was president of the American Academy of Disability Evaluating Physicians. I was a board member for many years. Uh, I served uh, the old Texas Workers' Compensation Commission. I was the Medical Advisory Committee chairman for a number of years. I've also been appointed by Governor Perry to the uh, Texas Medical Board, a district review committee where I'm on my second appointment and I've been doing the, uh, that for about 12 years and was a regent for the Texas Women's University. So Dr. Tan, how do the Texas Injury Benefit Programs provide better medical outcomes? We try and take the adversarial aspects of a compensation injury out of the picture. Our expectation is that our injured workers have a experience in the you know, realm of the medical web that you know we all work in, that they have an experience is as good as the experience that I expect from my family. And that they don't have to go to multiple clinic visits on the front end where they're right. waiting two hours at a primary clinic and then two, three weeks to get seen by the correct orthopedic surgeon. So we try and speed up that process so that we, we don't have all that downtime and don't have that opportunity for, you know, sitting at home and recovery delay. That's real employee advocacy, isn't it? Yes, sir. We had a recent case where an individual had a distal biceps rupture. The adjuster notified us that day um, the uh, injured individual was in the physician's office who specializes in elbows. The next day had surgery and was back at full duty work within about eight to 10 weeks. That's amazing. Missed, missed very little time from work. So those are the kinds of outcomes and that's the kind of access we're looking for. You know, in traditional medical systems, it takes forever to get to see a specialist. We know that whether it's a healthcare system or workers comp, but you're saying that you can get specialists involved as needed right away. We focus on getting the right physician at the right time. So we have a case of a 28-year-old, otherwise healthy young man who fell 12 feet. He was trying to bring down a piece of electronics and lost his balance. He fell directly onto his head, um, onto the concrete in a warehouse, was transported to a county facility. And when we got notice of the case, um, could not get notice of who the actual neurosurgeon was that wanted to, to operate on him. Uh, we heard that it was some um, resident at the county facility. I contacted a neurosurgeon uh, at one of the trauma hospitals in a major medical center and had him accept transfer. He not only accepted transfer, he coordinated with an oculoplastics uh, surgeon, um, our 28-year-old gentleman had sustained not only a brain bleed and a skull fracture, but he had a blowout orbital fracture and multiple rib fractures. So he had uh, neurosurgery one day. Three days later, he had his uh, orbits fixed and his, his eye repaired. And he was uh, released back to full duty work uh, within 90 days from the date of that incident. Wow, that's really incredible. So his dad was concerned that his, his son was going to need to be in a brain injury hospital, long-term type care. And because we got the right physicians involved at the right time, got them to the right facility, um, that, that wasn't what happened. What we had was an exceptional outcome. Well, I'm astonished at what you said about those two specialists. From the county hospital, you go from a county hospital transport to within days of, of getting like the finest surgeon medical experts. So Dr. Tan, there have been a lot of medical achievements, new things are going on all the time in science, but it takes a long time for these things to get approved in formal healthcare systems as an example. 
Can you do a lot of these things that are just coming new into the medical community to help these injured workers? Yes, we can. And it brings up a recent case. We have an individual who unfor unfortunately is a quadriplegic and has been um, uh, inpatient now for a number of months at one of the top rehab facilities here in the state of Texas. And as part of the discharge planning, we have identified a facility that has an exoskeleton, which will allow him to be in basically a robotic suit um, to walk and use his limbs that he can't now use. It's, it's very exciting because he's, he's, he's a young man, and this was a very unfortunate accident. But to have access to this exoskeleton, there's only a few facilities that actually have them. So to do something that innovative, didn't that have to go through a lot of boards or committees or red tape to, to get that kind of approval? No, sir. It was our initiative to find a facility that had that available to him. And so um, the rehab hospital hadn't even asked for it yet. And so that was part of our discharge planning. I understand you're also very supportive of the family. Yes, the family is involved with all of our discharge planning, um, getting the family involved in um, making a determination as to whether or not someone can go home. And what we uh, have found is we really have to work with them to make a determination as to whether or not they can go home and live on their own or if we need to find um, an alternative. Um, working with their family to see if they can reside with a family member, or do we need to put them up in a long-term facility or in a residential hotel and make accommodation for them that way. Why would these fabulous physicians be interested in working in the Texas Injury Benefit Program versus traditional programs? The providers that we work with understand that we are in you know, the outcome and the information business. If an individual gets seen today, we need to know today what their work status is. I don't need to be waiting for return to work form. So the expectation is to get us that information timely. If we have a surgery request, to get us that information timely. Because this is an injury benefit plan, we can eliminate some of the bureaucratic uh, processes. We don't have to wait days for pre-authorization. We can give authorization that day for surgery tomorrow. We can give authorization for um, diagnostic imaging today. We don't have to wait to ask approval from a third party. You don't have to use state regulated fee schedules and things like that, correct? Correct. Uh, we have contracted rates with some physicians. Some physicians uh, require a premium rate in order to uh, get the access that we do have. Sure. But at the end of the day, we're looking for physicians who are outcome focused, not necessarily income focused. The best medical providers in Texas are available to Texas injured workers. Those medical providers, though, want access to the information timely and they want less bureaucratic red tape. They want to uh, have employers engaged in uh, keeping employees at work and engaged in the recovery process. So we try and facilitate that uh, as our medical management model. Thank you, Dr. Tom, for joining us today and helping us to better understand how the Texas Injury Benefit Program does produce better medical outcomes. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for joining us today for the Innovation Series.